Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video we will be discussing about 5 interesting pivot table hacks which will help you use pivot table in a more efficient manner. So let's begin. So first understand let's what is the data about. So the data consists of section, the student's name, the subjects, English history, science and geography and the marks which they have obtained. Now let's insert a pivot table. So if you don't know you need to first select the range of the uh, uh, for which you have to create a pivot table. Click on insert click on pivot table your range is already selected here and uh, this option is choose a new worksheet and you need to press ok so now what i will do i will just select uh, how do i want to analyze data so i am keeping subjects in ro rows and marks in values now what does this show this show that the out of the three students which you saw in uh, the raw sheet english marks obtained is 206 followed by geography 186 history and science okay now the what is the first interesting uh, thing which we will be learning today if you know that if suppose this sort of marks have been missed out in this table and it has been added later like right now i'm adding it so i added sort of marks does the pivot table get updated no if we click on uh, refresh does the pivot table get updated no the actual procedure for updating the, this kind of pivot table is you need to go again to the analyze button and select on change source data update the source data because your data range was selected only till uh, cell number 15 now it gets updated then click on ok and then your data gets updated but is there a short shortcut to this yes there is a shortcut to this and that is what we will be learning today so i am deleting this uh, columns which i have inserted and we will learn the the first thing which we will be learning today is how how can we use this with a shortcut we do this by creating a table for this data range so how do we create a table we press we select the data range right now which is there in and press ctrl t and then press ok so what does this do instead of the range which we have selected it will consider this range as a table and once we add more fields to the uh, existing uh, ra range it is it will be considered as a part of the table so you do not need to refresh the uh, you do not need to change the source data of your pivot table if you just press ok uh, refresh your data gets updated so see right now your data is still here the table is still here and you can see a small arrow like symbol like this here and once i add this four uh, more rows to this uh, data table your this you see the arrow moves to here and now the pivot table uh, is referencing this table instead of the range and if you go to this uh, sheet 4 and just press a right click and click on refresh your data gets updated so i hope you found this interesting the next interesting thing which we'll be discussing today is the use of slicer option to do advanced filters like you need to go to insert and you need to click on slicer and uh, suppose section and student name right or yes section or student name and you have got two advanced filter options with you right now so suppose you just want to uh, check the total marks obtained of only one section and not all the sections you just need to click on 5a and only for section 5a the marks gets updated similarly if you want to check only for 5b then 5b will be okay and if you want to clear filters in both the cells both the cells will be updated also you can have two levels of filter like in uh, my data is not that huge but suppose in 5a i just want to see the marks of aman so this uh, the marks gets updated so if your data is huge with 100 200 things so you can use uh, multiple filters and uh, analyze your data accordingly I hope uh, you found this interesting. Uh, next, what we'll be learning is uh, one more option. Like if you want to, if you want to have a percentage of total for this, you don't have to do manual calculation. You just need to click on a right click button, show value as percentage of grand total. So out of the grand total 23 percent marks is for of english geography is 20 percent histories and there are a lot of things which you can do 
the fourth thing which we'll be discussing in this file is that if instead of sum of marks how do we get average or percentage or something like that so you can just need to give a light click and choose average your marks gets updated okay also this here see these are the subjects and but it is always written row labels can you change that of course you can change that you need to just click on analyze uh, sorry design and you need to choose report layout and choose show in tabular form and you saw your marks got updated and like uh, you were seeing average of marks you just wanted to write that it is it implied that it is uh, marks and you just needed to you want to write it only average can you do that yes you can do this okay so your marks change to only uh, your name change to so you can do a name change also if you see this data option is always from a to z and you can change it to maximum z to a so if you want to change it like you want history to come first you just need to write history and history marks will get updated geography uh, sorry geography geography marks will get updated english english marks will get updated and science science marks will get updated so this are uh, this is also what you can use also if you want to do some uh, addition multiplications or any kind of calculation with your data you'll see that you'll face a challenge like suppose 347 i want to multiply it by 4 and i need to multiply uh, for some uh, calculation purpose i need to multiply everything with 4 so you'll see that there is a get pivot data something coming and the data is not getting updated so how do you do some calculation in this you just need to click on analyze you go need to go on options and you need to switch off this generate get pivot data once i do that now if you see if i multiply this number with four the first field was only getting updated but right now each and every field will get updated so this were some interesting pivot table uh, tools i think so uh, which will help you reduce your time i think so the first one was uh, very interesting which you can use because if there is some cumulative data for which you have to always refresh you have to change the source data and then click on refresh like sales you have till december and january sales registers get added or any kind of data where line items get added you don't have to use the change data source option and your data gets updated i hope you enjoyed this and also the new year is coming so wish you a very happy new year and please do like share subscribe the channel and uh, keep supporting for such content thank you for watching